Good morning friends, this is Tiffany and today we are going to be doing a full day of trim healthy mama eating. We're going to be doing some S meals and some emails emails today and I'm just gonna let y'all kind of see um, what I eat during the day um, when I'm doing Trim Healthy Mama and um, yeah so we're gonna get started so I know for breakfast I'm gonna be doing a French omelet and I've got some tomatoes for my vegetables now I've already had coffee this morning I didn't film it because um, I am not really a morning person it takes me a long time to wake up so, but I did have coffee and I put a little of the um, MCT oil in it with some uh, super sweet and some cinnamon and I kind of just whipped that up. Sometimes I'll add collagen to it. So this right here is some coconut oil that I'm gonna put into my cast iron skillet and we'll just let that melt. omelets you want to scramble them a lot so that they're really runny um, you can add a little bit of water if you want to but you want a very runny consistency let me show you so as you can see it's very very runny and that's the consistency that you are looking for I have my coconut oil all melted the pan is about at a medium to low heat so we do want it a little warm and then we're just gonna add the eggs in should start sizzling Turn that down a little bit. I don't want the eggs to burn. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Now we're not going to flip this. The next thing that we're going to do is kind of roll it up. And you do want to cook it until all of the, the eggs on the inside, they don't move. So as you can see, they're still moving just a little bit. So we're going to let it cook just a little bit longer. And you can spread it around. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Then we're going to take our spatula, put it under, and we're just going to kind of start wrapping it up a little bit. Rolling it, I mean. <laughs> Just like that. So at this point, you could put some butter on it if you want to, or you can just stick it in on your plate. There we go. And there is our French omelet. And then we're just gonna add some tomatoes, and there is breakfast. And for my mid-morning tea, I'm gonna be having this white chocolate peppermint. This stuff is so good, it smells Oh, it smells so good. It's like chocolatey and like minty with it. It's so good. And so I'm gonna have that while we do school here. I'm gonna let it seep and gotta love that mug. Cheers. Wow, that's so good. It has a little bit of a sweet to it and I just, I didn't add anything to it. Just put that little um, tea in there and it's so good. Mm -mm. It's so good. I love tea on a little chilly day today. A little chilly spring day today. We'll see you here in a few minutes for lunch. It is now lunchtime, and so for lunch, I'm gonna be having, I'm gonna be making like my own little soup. I'm gonna do some bone broth here, and then I've got some shredded chicken that I made last night. I usually have um, just shredded chicken always on hand. That way I can make things, and I have protein ready to go. And then I'm gonna add um, a laughing cow cheese. <laughs> into the soup and then I'm gonna have some black beans on the side. So I ended up adding some black beans into the soup. I thought that might be good. And I'm gonna kind of spice it up, so I'm gonna add some red pepper and some cumin. So this soup is going to be an email, which is an energizing meal. I love having an email at lunchtime because I definitely need that energy, you know, throughout the rest of the day. And usually I'll have an S for dinner, but we'll see what we're gonna have it tonight. I haven't made 
plans yet. Usually, I like to have everything planned out, but today I didn't. So we're just kind of, we're gonna see what we're gonna make. Probably go through some of the books and see if there's anything there that catches my, my eye for tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat and I'll show you here um, the finished product in just a minute. So here is the soup and oh my gosh, look how creamy it looks now. That laughing cow cheese is really great. I put it in there, it kind of creamed up this soup and then I added a little cilantro on it and I had a little taste and holy cow it is so good um and it's perfect for like today it's a little chilly outside so just wanted something a little warm to warm me up and i love soup because you know you have a lot of liquid and it keeps you full okay let's go ahead and taste this and let's see how good it is oh no my battery's about to die Very delicious and a good energizing lunch. It's so good, so, so good. And I just made up this recipe, so definitely one. Mm. 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 So good. We'll see you guys in a little bit for some snack time. All right, so I just had my lunch and I'm still a little hungry, so I'm gonna go see what I have in the refrigerator for some vegetables. So I did find a cucumber, so I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up. I'm gonna add a little super sweet to it and a little salt, which you guys know if you watched my last video, I love cucumbers with that on it. So I'm gonna eat this up a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna eat the whole thing, maybe just half, save the other one for snack. So anyways, I'm a little hungry. And here is the glucy pudding. And I put a couple blackberries in there, but they kind of decided to sink in. But um, yeah, and we're gonna either, it's a little, I'm gonna let it sit up for a little bit and then have that for snack. And then I also wanted to say thank you to my daughter who made that for me. All right, so for dinner, I am gonna be making the BLT Fritta right here because we have a lot of eggs from our chickens that we need to use up. So this calls for 12 eggs, so excited about this and it's also gonna be like there's gonna be lots of leftovers I know so it'll be good for me to um, have in the refrigerator and it'll be a good snack or if I'm in a hurry I can just grab it and I know it's on plan This is smelling so, so good. Now, I the recipe calls for parsley, but I ended up using thyme instead because I love thyme and the spice. Holy cow, look at this. It cooked perfectly. All right, let's get a slice out. All right, so 
now it is time to taste everything. I put a, um, a side salad with the meal um, with some just microgreens, some lettuce microgreens that I grew. So that is completely all natural and organic because I'm I grew it here. And oh, my son Pellegrino is starting to kind of trying to bust open. Okay, so let's try this. And this is some homemade salsa. If you guys are interested on how I make my homemade salsa, um, leave me a comment down below and I'll be glad to do a video on that as well. Mm. Wow, that is so good. And it was so easy to make. Like, if you've got like a busy week and um, this is this was really good. Now remember I did put the thyme instead of the parsley which it was delicious and um, I like this recipe because I can just cut a slice and warm it up like in the middle of the day if I need some a snack or something or if I'm running out the door in the morning and um, this would be like a really good um, recipe for that just to run out the door and of course my microgreens they are delicious and I just have some um, dressing on it. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with this meal. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. This is my lettuce microgreens that I grew um, just here in the house. So thought you guys would like to see this. This is what I ate for dinner and I just cut off a little bit right here. And anyways, this is ready to harvest. So I'm gonna get this into the refrigerator. But anyways, a little bonus tip for you guys.